So collision theory states that for a reaction to occur, okay, they must meet these two conditions. Okay. The first one is the molecule must collide and the collision must be an effective collision. So there are two conditions yang uh, the molecule kena penuhi for the reaction to occur, um, for them to uh, change the reactant into product. The first one, they must collide and the collision tadi tu, okay, mestilah effective collision. So it will lead to the formation of the products. Okay, kalau lah they just collide sahaja, but tidak uh, bukan collision tu bukan effective collision, maka tidak akan terhasilnya produk. Okay, so, uh, next slide, we're going to look at what is effective collision. Okay, so red um, adalah uh, direct proportional to the number of effective collision over time. Okay, semakin banyak uh, effective collision over time, semakin increase the reaction rate. So, look at the effective collision, as I mentioned before. Okay, the molecule must collide and the type of collision we call it as effective collision. Once they uh, achieve the effective collision, then the molecule boleh bertukar menjadi produk. Okay, that reactant which uh, uh, akan bertukar menjadi produk. Jika tidak, maka setakat collide begitu je lah. Okay. Um, nak capai effective collision, ada dua juga condition. There are two condition that lead to the effective collision. The first one, that molecule yang tengah collide itu kena ada, must possess a certain amount of minimum kinetic energy that we call as activation energy to initiate the chemical reaction. Okay, so kita ada kembali what is activation energy. It's the minimum kinetic energy that molecules must possess to initiate the chemical reaction. So basically, the molecule that collide tu, okay, mesti ada sekurang-kurangnya kinetic energy-nya kena paling minimum. Okay, uh, sama dengan Ea kepada reaction itu. Contoh, okay. So if you look uh, dekat uh, figure gambar bawah ni, alright, so this is the reactant, this is the product, Contoh, reactant nak menjadi produk. So, this reactant, kalau kita tengok contoh eh. Contoh kalau kat gambar ni, dia kena ada sekurang-kurangnya 6 kJ per mol. Okay, ni. Activation energy dia kat sini nilai dia adalah 6 kJ per mol. That's mean, bila molekul tu berlanggar. Okay, dan molekul tu salah satu uh, condition nak dapat effective uh, condition ni. Dia berlanggar, kemudian energy dia ada 5 kJ. Okay, energy setakat 5 kJ. Adakah reaktan tu akan bertukar menjadi produk? Tidak. Sebab kenapa? Sebab energy dia tak cukup. Sebab kalau dia nak, dia kena ada sekurang-kurangnya 6 kJ for that molecule yang tengah berlanggar itu untuk meng, menjadi produk. Okay, so if that molecule, molecule reaktan ni berlanggar kemudian dia punya energy yang dia ada semasa berlanggar tu adalah 6 kJ. Okay, maka dia boleh menghasilkan produk sebab dia ada that minimum amount of kinetic energy. Okay. Kalau apatah lagi kalau dia tu tujuh dan more than six, ah, lagi lah dia boleh menghasilkan produk. Okay. So, so that is the ciri-ciri uh, effective collision. The second ciri-ciri uh, okay, adalah bila dia collide tu, they must collide in correct orientation. Okay. Kalau setakat Uh, reactant tadi, dia berlanggar energy dia contoh 10 kJ tapi cara berlanggar tu salah. Okay, the orientation uh, was wrong. Still, tidak akan menghasilkan produk. Okay, so they must obey this two lah. Kena ada meet these two conditions. Okay, Miss, uh, ada dua condition ni, condition yang kita pang, dua condition, sorry, jika dia memenuhi dua conditions, maka collision yang di tengah berlaku tu kita panggil dia sebagai effective collision. So, effective collision ni will lead to the formation of the product. Okay. So, contoh kat gambar ni, ni lah, sebanyak mana pun kinetic 
energy molecule tu ada okey kalau dia punya uh, orientation semasa belanga tu salah still tak akan jadi produk okey so kalau yang ni nampak ni okey contoh saya gunakan dalam gambar ni oh dia kena meet dengan warna hijau okey warna hijau maksudnya dia punya light like, tapak dia cun lah cantik okey maka dia akan terhasilkan produk jika jika energy dia cukup tapi dia punya orientation dia salah dia akan like bounce back okey dia tidak akan menghasilkan produk so that is effective collision